welcome back to part two of my birthday unboxings. So today we're going to be doing all of the Hermes goodies. Any guesses? <laughs> you already know there's a fine jewelry piece in here. It is in a cute little box. Can't wait to share with you. And then also something from Saint Laurent that I picked up. And then a couple of dresses as well. One of the items I'm actually wearing today, this one here is from Zimmerman, as you can tell from the floral print. I did go into the store to try it on just to see what sort of size I would be. Ended up going with the P0 just because the waist here, it is a bit higher and more tighter so it looks a lot nicer than the size zero where this elastic was pretty much all the way down to where my belly is so it's not as flattering but the length is a little bit shorter on this one so I did like the length of the size zero better than the P0 but I think this one overall I do like it a little bit more so yeah this is the first item that I got and if you guys already watched part one you would already have seen what mom got me for my birthday and also the birthday bag that I picked up and this bag you know I've already been wearing so much and loving you'll be seeing a lot of her so if you guys haven't watched the Chanel unboxings I'll leave that video linked above let's actually unbox this one first this is from Saint Laurent and I mainly got this for my trip coming up and I did get one for my dad as well so you'll see some cutaways I've already given him the gift so I don't have that with me anymore but yeah with the cutaways you'll see what I ended up getting here this is what I got for myself Ta <laughs> it is the denim cap <laughs> from what I sell. It is in a light wash denim, which I love, and the gold logo plug on there. I got it in the size 57. In the back, you can actually adjust it a little bit as well. It's in that aged gold hardware, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's fine. It's on the back, you can't see it. So let me try it on for you guys. Oh, and it does come with the care booklet or authenticity card. I don't know if you guys remember, last year I bought the LV denim cap and I ended up returning that one because I cut my hair when I went to pick it up and it just looked so strange with my like very short hair. Yeah, and because it's so tight, like my hair basically bowed outwards and I just looked just ridiculous. So yeah, I ended up returning that one. And then this one, I just feel like it's a lot lighter. Also the color, I do like a little bit more. The LV one, it was leather at the front here and then there's a lot of padding on the cap. So I'll just show a picture so you guys can see. But basically it is very tight and I feel like it's just not very breathable because when you usually wear a cap, you're exercising or you're outdoors. So you don't really want something that's super constricting on your head to trapping all the heat. So I thought this one, it is a lot lighter on the head and even the color, it's a lot lighter so I feel like that looks very cute what do you guys think just show you guys the side view and then this side has the logo <laughs> hopefully you guys can see that and I thought that looked easier to wear <laughs> and hopefully you know I'll get a lot of wear out of it while I go away on my trip so that's the first item. So let's now unbox some Hermes goodies. So we unbox the big box first What do you guys think is in here? <laughs> so when I saw this one, this is the last one available. It is a pair of shoes. Mmm, smells so good. Mmm, Hermes leather. <laughs> smells the most divine. So it is a pair of H loafers and this color is just stunning. There's the other shoe. Isn't that just so pretty? It even goes with what I'm wearing today as well. Oh, so beautiful. Unfortunately, they were the last 
pair and because it's a seasonal color they were not going to get a restock of this so I had to really think about it because it was on display so you can see there is a little bit of creasing just on the front there that's okay because with loafers as soon as you start wearing it you will get these creases regardless so I thought it's fine and as long as I really love this color I'm just going to get it anyway yeah it is this super neutral almost like a skin tone like taupey how would you even describe this color it's like a like a taupey yeah, I would say it's a, a very light taupe. It is so gorgeous. And on the front there, this <laughs> my essay was so cute. He's like, oh, let me go and see if I can find another little blue sticker just to protect the hardware. I was like, that's okay. I'm just going to <laughs> wear it straight away. So that's fine. Obviously, I will be removing the stickers. Can you guess what color hardware this is? It's in palladium hardware. Mmm. It's actually a little bit more special. So let's peel this off together. It's actually really hard to peel off. <gasps> Ta -da! It's got this tone on tone hardware. So you can see it is in the same light taupey color with palladium on the side so that is just so pretty right it's a little bit more understated than if the whole thing is shiny palladium so i love that detail about these shoes that's also why i really wanted to get them i did try on the black pair which was the one that i ordered because i had really ordered them so that i can wear them to work but the black pair just didn't look good on me at all my it just looks super long and it looks so awkward but when i tried on this color it was love at first sight so yeah such a perfect color right i'm so happy i grabbed them even though they're not brand brand new and i think i did have to size down a little bit so i got this in the 36 and a half 37 was a little bit too big for me the back my foot just kept on coming out whereas this it's a lot more secure and especially you know in winter you will bond the shoe to be a little bit more snug let's peel off the sticker on this one as well so i can start wearing it i think this is the one that he found the extra sticker for it comes out a lot easier than the other shoe super beautiful would the creasing bother you guys i think unless you're like super picky that might bother some people but for me i'm just like nah it's fine <laughs> My essay was like, oh, are you sure? Are you sure? He asked me so many times, are you sure you want to take it? I'm like, well, I have no choice. I really love this color. He had the white and the one with the little fringes on the front. But yeah, that one had three different colors and I thought it was just like a bit too much. Whereas this one, it's a lot more, you know, simplistic, a lot more elegant. So this color... So these are called the Moccasin Paris Loafers and the leather is in chev, so it's goat skin, which is why it looks a lot nicer, I think. And the color is called Blanc Gomme. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, so I'll put it in the description or on the screen here so you guys can see. And if you can find this color, I would highly recommend because how pretty, it's like the perfect neutral. So gorgeous. Got it in 36 and a half. And I love how it's got the anti-slip on there already. So I most likely don't have to put my own sole protectors, just the back here, I'll protect it. They are so comfortable. And I do recommend sizing down half a size if you want them to fit nice and snug, or if you want more room, then they are true to size. Same with my... Osmeals, I got mine in 36 and a half because I felt like it was a lot more snug on my feet. So these are the white Osmeals. And these are one of my favorite shoes from Hermes. <laughs> so happy to add another pair and hopefully I'll get even more wear out of these ones because they're closed. So I'll be able to wear them pretty much all seasons 
really. You can probably already tell by the shape and size of this box what is inside. Oh my gosh. I know I said I'm not going to get any more of these, but they're so addictive. It's hard to say no to them because they're so cute. Uh, and when you see this color, you'll know why I had to grab it. Because it is just so perfect. Are you ready to see? Isn't she just so cute? Oh, I should have unboxed it sooner because the tail is now a little bit wrinkly. Oh no. That's okay, it will straighten now. But isn't this just the prettiest little horsey? So this is the Pegasus because it has the wings. The strap and the mane is in mauve pale. So gorgeous. And the body is in cray. <laughs> which you know I'm obsessed with Cray, the color of my Birkin. I'll grab her in a second. And then the wings are in gold. So it is the perfect neutral combination for my Birkin. <laughs> I have my Birkin right here. <sighs> wow, it is a match made in heaven. So, so perfect. Let me put her on. Yeah, so it's really hard to resist these charms. <laughs> Once you start getting one, you pretty much just can't say no to them. So that's how it looks on. Isn't that just so cute? And the color is so perfect. Love that pop of gold. <laughs> Love that so much. And it really goes nicely with the shoes there, right? You can see. <laughs> Uh, I just love shopping at Hermes. Pretty much everything you buy, they all end up somehow working together. It's just so nice when that happens. <laughs> Actually, kind of like the Twilly and Pegasus look now. So I am going to start wearing the two together like this. One, just so that I can start using the horses and not just keep them <laughs> in my cupboard and this way I don't have to keep undoing the twilly if I want to put the horse on there. Super happy with my new Pegasus. What do you guys think of this combination? Do you love it as well? Oh, we're losing light you guys. The days are really getting shorter now so it's very hard to get everything done in time. Oh, can you imagine winter? Oh man, winter is coming really going to struggle in winter because <laughs> I'll only have my days off to film. It's just going to be a lot harder to get things done. So now let's unbox this little cutie. So if you watched my giveaway video, you know I already talked about getting another fine jewelry piece and I've already picked it up. So it is this one here. <laughs> Let me just show you guys what I ended up choosing. Ta-da! How beautiful, right? So this is the H-Donk. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that properly. I'll put the name on the screen. 18 karat rose gold with all these diamonds in the shape of H. Can you guys see there? It is so pretty and sparkly. So this is actually not my first choice. My first choice was the Kelly ring, but when I tried it on and then I tried on this one, I actually preferred how this one looked. I think that just looks so nice. <laughs> And the diamonds really pop with this piece. I think it looks really pretty with my other H ring. And with Hermes Rose Gold, I think it is really nice and soft. It's not that far off yellow gold actually. So the Cartier Love Ring here is in yellow gold. And you can see it pairs really, really nicely with the Hermes Rose Gold. So yeah, super loving how that looks. So I will be mainly wearing it on my middle finger, but I can actually go onto my index. So that's why I went with a size that's a little bit bigger. 
just so that I can also wear it on my index finger. So this way you get more versatility out of the item. So I also love how that looks with my camellia ring. What do you guys think? So pretty, right? And having the diamonds, it really adds that nice pop. <laughs> Such a nice sparkle. And you could even stack it with Cartier Justin Clue. Yeah, there's so many different ways to wear this ring. And on the back of the ring, I don't know if you guys can see, there is that little hole mark. So initially, I thought this mark was a defect on the ring. And then my essay looked it up and apparently it is engraved on all fine jewelry, but especially the French brands. So Hermes and Chanel, they're all French brands. So with the eagle's head hallmark, it basically indicates that it is a minimum fineness of 18 karat gold or rose gold and that it is made in France. This has been implemented since 1838. So it's been around for quite a while. And the most interesting thing was we were using the little magnifying glasses to have a look at the hallmark. And you can see it is definitely an eagle. And he even had a look at my camellia ring and on the the band, the eagle is also stamped on there. Also the Hermes Ferrandol earrings, the hallmarks on the back as well. And same with the necklace that I got, <laughs> which I initially thought that hallmark was a defect. So I actually took the necklace back and the essay helping me that day because my essay wasn't in. <laughs> she was like, oh, this is a hallmark. And then she got the magnifying glass and told me to have a look. So it was so interesting because on certain jewelry, the hallmark is very distinctive. Like you can tell that it is an eagle, but in other stamps, the stamp is not super clear. So it almost looks like there's a bit missing on the metal, but the hallmark is very clear on this ring. So yeah, um, I thought I'll just mention that for anyone that's curious like I was. And I love that my essay, whenever he doesn't know something, he would always either use Google or ask a colleague. He would always try to find the answer. Not like some people, you know, they'll just be like, oh, sorry, I'm not sure. And then that's the end of it. Um, he would always try to find out exactly why those stamps or engravings are on something and what these things mean, which is really helpful and interesting for us both because we're always wanting to learn more about the brand and fashion and jewelry in general. So I thought that was pretty interesting. <laughs> Let me know if you guys already know about these hallmarks. Now, if you notice, <laughs> There's one more box in the background and that's because I'm filming on a different day. I ran out of daylight and also memory on my phone. I went shopping with mom, went to the launch of Chanel Spring Summer, so 23S. Had a look, there weren't that much stuff actually in stock. She ended up not getting anything from Chanel. I know, such a shocker. Every single season, I've always found something to buy and it's just this season, all the prices you'll see in the vlog it's just ridiculous yeah i just couldn't do it <laughs> There was only one bag in particular that I remotely liked, but the price was $9,000. Like, no. <laughs> so that's why I went into Hermes to see my essay. And I did request these. I don't own anything in this style. And also the material you'll see, I also don't own anything. <laughs> Can you guess what is in the box? You can probably tell by the size of the box. <laughs> yes, it is another pair of shoes. Are you ready? Ta da! They are gorgeous. This is the Oasis sandals in the denim material and I just love this lighter blue denim and also this denim trim on the front. It has a very small heel so I think this may be five centimeters and in like a natural wood color. Super pretty. I ideally would want a 36 and a half because this one 
it's a little bit big, but my essay said <laughs> it's not likely to come in at 36 and a half. So I'm just going to put some, you know, gel cushion here to prevent my feet from sliding forward because of the heel. Yeah, I just feel like it, because it's quite slippery here, my feet just goes forward and they are a bit of a wide fit or my feet is just narrow. So they are them. How pretty for summer, right? <laughs> Even though it's autumn now, but when I go to Bali, I'll definitely be wearing these. My essay did have the 37 in the orange sandals as well. The fit was maybe a little bit better in the 37. My feet didn't feel like I was sliding forward, but the orange sandals, the sole here, it didn't have that blue denim trim. So to me, I felt like the oasis looks more special and also on my feet they look a lot more feminine and also because I don't have this style I thought it would be better to add this one rather than the orange but both look really pretty so if you're still hunting for a pair of denim sandals I think Hermes is a really good way to go because most places like Chanel their sandals are just so much more expensive super happy I was able to get these I'll put the gel cushion in there and try them on just to see if my feet still slides forward but I think they'll be fine super loving this lighter blue color what do you guys think <laughs> it also goes with what I'm wearing today as well so you'll be seeing me <laughs> wearing this outfit in Bali I cannot wait by the time you see this video I'll probably be back from Bali our holiday is less than a week away actually so I've been really busy planning and booking stuff I needed to get everything organized so when I'm away I can just enjoy so that's what I meant by silicone heel pads so you can see this just prevent the feet from slipping forward now when i walk on there this thing basically keeps my foot in place here and the toes don't go over yeah and i'm so glad i got the 37 because the 36 it was better fit this way but my heel was coming out off the edge so yeah this definitely looks a lot better from the side super happy <laughs> love my new denim oasis sandals so this denim it's a little bit different to the white cell denim <laughs> But they would still go. As you can tell, I've been like super into denim lately. <laughs> and I actually don't own any denim footwear. So this will be the first pair. And I've always really wanted a denim bag from Chanel, preferably. But with all the price increases, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a denim bag, which is such a shame. But that's okay. My mom's got a few denim babies. So maybe I can borrow one from her. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I actually got quite a lot of makeup items, but I think this video is going to be super long already. So I might just show you the high end makeup in this section. And then if you guys want to see more of just the normal mid range makeup, we can do a separate video and I can talk to you about my skincare routine or makeup routine. Cause I know a lot of you have asked me about what sort of products I would like to wear or I wear in my videos. Do let me know if you want to see that. Let's show you this one. You can probably tell this is one of the Hermes new makeup releases and I really wanted to try this one after I saw photos and I went into the store to swatch the colors and I wasn't sure what color I would be. So it comes in the classic orange box. Falls open like this. And then your compact is just inside and it's so pretty with that gold plug on the front and this one does feel a lot weightier than their blush which i felt like the blush packaging wasn't all that great so there's the back these ones do also come with that hole so you can pop out the powder and put a new one in once you're done with it so you can buy refills i ended up getting the color Atlas, which is the number two shade. And I've actually already used it today. So that's the bronzer I am wearing on my face today. This color, it looks quite light in the pan, but it's actually pretty pigmented. I almost bought number three, which is Sahara, but 
luckily last minute I'm like no actually let me just get the lighter one because with a lighter color you can always build it up with a few layers you can sort of get a darker look whereas if it's too dark you have to be like so careful when you're putting on the color and you might not blend out as seamlessly so I thought to be on the safe side let's change it into number two and I'm so glad I did because the color is actually pretty much perfect for me so as you can see I really love how smooth it looks and also the micro shimmer in there you can actually see it and it is very soft and usually for bronzer I do love that sun-kissed glow a shimmering bronzer gives whereas matte powders is better for contour super happy I picked this one up and I love <laughs> the highlighting powder as well but it is like 18 grams the product and for bronzer you know I understand because it's going over a large area of the face you can use it on your neck your chest more places and you're more likely to go through a bronzer in 12 months than a highlighter so the highlighter comes in the same huge pan of 18 grams and I'm just like I'm never going to go through even a quarter or <laughs> one tenth of the product in a year I do love wearing highlighter but I only use like a tiny little bit so I don't know just feel like a little bit wasteful getting that one but I do love a pinky highlighter so I don't know maybe I should go back and get ah but anyway it is not limited edition like with all Chanel things so if I do decide later on I want to get it I can always go back and get it I thought I'll just test out the bronzer first and I actually really love it so if you guys have also been sitting on the fence I say go into the store and swatch the colors if you have Hermes near you because just by looking at the colors online or through photos it's really hard to gauge you really need to like swatch it on your skin just to see what sort of color would work for you and all the undertones are a little bit different as well and I actually really want to get the limited edition lipstick as well because it's got that more shine-ish formula I thought it would be more suitable for my dry ass lips but unfortunately the color that I want which is that coral color with glitter inside that one's sold out so I'll have to wait but my essay said they will be restocking it so that's fine I'll just go back <laughs> once it's available but yeah have you guys tried the new colors what do you guys think of more sort of a sheer balmy texture I think I definitely prefer it to their traditional lipstick and of course you guys already know that I'm not a fan of the lip enhancers which are super drying and like I love the color but just the texture and you know how drying it is I haven't used it like at all <laughs> since I bought it just because of my lips can't tolerate it and then the other luxe item is actually from my Sephora order and it is from Gucci <laughs> I do have one of their blushes which is okay like not my favorite blush but I really wanted to try out their lip balm formula so this one is oh it just says lip balm okay cool and it's the Jocelyn clear pull up top and then there is the lip balm very faint Gucci embossed I think I really just love <laughs> this packaging that teal Tiffany blue color with the Gucci <laughs> on top I just think it's really fun nice pop of color in your handbag I'll try this out and see how I feel I did think about getting the second color which is like a pinkish color but I have so many pink lip balms lip glosses and lipsticks I thought what I get most use out of is actually just a clear balm <laughs> so um, this will be super handy especially when I'm at work because we still wear masks at work so yeah this will be super hydrating hopefully and there's not much of a scent so that's fine so now I'll show you guys some of the dresses that I ended up buying for my upcoming trip so we already talked about this Zimmerman play suit which I'm loving and you can see it's all my favorite colors we've got the pinks the purples the blue <laughs> this one is so me and then I also ordered <laughs> this green dress <laughs> so as you can tell by the puffy sleeves and the cutout detail this dress is from age 
<laughs> you know I love age dresses and I've actually bought quite a few. This will be my fourth, I think. Yes, my fourth age dress. And this is usually not a color that I would go for because it is very bright green. <laughs> it's probably not even coming off as bright on camera, but in person it is like bam, it is green. <laughs> but what sold me was actually the back detail. Look how cool. It's got that wave open back. And I just thought this would look stunning in Bali. <laughs> Can you imagine me wearing this going to the rice field? Like I'll just blend in with my <laughs> background, which is, you know, a vibe. Anyway, I just thought this color was super fun. And I also quite like has a lot of fabric on the bottom. And it's got that sheer layers underneath one two and then another one so three layers so it gives this skirt on the bottom a lot of volume so when you're wearing it it like puffs up quite a bit which i thought is super cute you know i love a puffy dress and the way that it's cut open on the back and on the front it won't get too hot <laughs> there's a lot of ventilation <laughs> how fun is this dress right I love it. And see what I'm talking about? There's so much poof and volume in this. Just looks so cute. I'll try and see if I can find this one and link it for you guys. Normally, I wouldn't go for such a bright color, but you know, just in time for my holidays, I thought let's go with something a bit more fun. <laughs> in photos, it would really pop. I do have one more Zimmerman dress to show you and it's actually buried underneath all of this. But that dress, I'm not like 100% on and most likely I feel like it's going back just because I do love how flowy it is but the colour is a little bit too dark and the polka dot effect on there, it's a little bit too much. I think out of this one, the age dress, they're more my style. Whereas the other one that I'm about to show you, it looks a little bit more older or conservative and not 100% my vibe. The dress is in here. It's knocked over everything. Yeah, so see what I mean? The polka dots, which is super pretty in that gold and silver thread, but it just feels a little bit too busy. Like there's a lot of polka dots. The sleeve is sheer and then it is a wrap dress. And it just got ruffles on the front. But yeah, I think it's just a bit too dark and it doesn't really define my waist as much as I wanted to. This tie, it's like sitting where my rib cage is. My waist is more down here, so not at a very flattering height, but that could be maybe I need to tie this lower. Yeah, not sure. And you can see it does shine and shimmer in the light. Maybe like for dinners, it looks all right, but not for Bali. <laughs> it's definitely too dark for Bali. So yeah, no real urgency to buy this if it's not going to be for my trip. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll link all the items that I talked about down below in case any of you were interested. In <laughs> we're on to the very last huge box, which you can't even see because it's all the way down there. Wow, <laughs> it is a huge box, you guys. So I ordered this from Net Porter. Oh, wow, <laughs> this is so difficult. <laughs> Got a pair of shoes from By Far, and then also a bikini. Maybe I'll show you the bikini first. And let me take this out so I can put this huge box down. Oh, it's heavy. God. Ow. Oh, my room is a mess. So this is not for the trip, <laughs> you'll see. But this one is definitely for the trip. They are from Versace. We've got the bikini top. And then the bikini bottom. How fun is this color? So where I saw this print in such a cool rainbow color. 
color i had to buy it and it actually looked pretty nice on so i might try the top on for you guys to see the bottom's a bit revealing so i'll just show you here so it's the same rainbow color so there it is there and i just love that it is pink and purple on the front because that's the part that you'll see most and then on the back it's a blue okay so that's pretty fun perfect for a tropical getaway <laughs> you'll be seeing me with my versace bikini and also the fendace <laughs> one piece as well and of course some cinnamon mixed in there yeah i'll be living in swimwear for my trip i'm so excited and then for the shoes you guys know i love by far i have one pair of white boots from them so when i saw this one on sale i couldn't resist because <laughs> it is in my favorite style So these are called the Sophia and this one is in suede. This tan brown color is just so pretty, right? And this heel height is like the perfect heel height. I can last all day in them and they don't hurt my feet. So I got it in a 37. The only thing is this was the last pair so you can see some of the suede has sort of worn off a little bit so it's not in 100% perfect condition it's like a little bit white there but you know they're shoes and after you wear them a few times they'll look like that anyway so I'm not too bothered by it this brown color is just too perfect and I actually don't have anything even remotely similar to this so I thought you know they're the perfect autumn and winter boot so in Australia we're in autumn now I know so crazy when the rest of you are in spring I thought I need something to cheer myself up for when I come back from Bali and the weather most likely will be freezing already so these will be super super lovely to wear as we approach the colder months I'm really not looking forward to winter oh but at least um, my feet will be cozy and warm in these how cool do the boots look <laughs> even with this dress it looks so nice. Oh, and... What do you guys think? Yes, that is pretty cool together. They're not exactly the same, but they're in the same color family. Such a nice match to my mini Evelyn. I'm ready for autumn. <laughs> Have you guys tried the By Far boots? I think they're like one of the most comfortable boots that I own. Even more comfortable than the Hermes ones. Yeah, and I got a super good deal. I would highly recommend when you're browsing online, do save items to your wish list. When I went on Net-A-Porter, I was looking for the caps. I wasn't actually looking for boots or the swimwear, but I had this in my wish list. And when I clicked into my wish list just to have a look, this one was marked down so i was like oh it's on sale and i wouldn't have known or realized otherwise because i wouldn't be shopping for boots i was looking more for the swimwear and other stuff for my trip but i just happened to look in my wish list and this one was very heavily discounted i think they were 40 percent off couldn't resist <laughs> So I think that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed part two of my birthday haul. Let me know which item was your favorite and which item was your favorite out of both my Chanel and Hermes haul. This year's birthday, I did go a bit crazy. I bought quite a few things. I guess with all us luxury lovers, the wish list just never ends. <laughs> Even after you tick a lot of stuff off, <laughs> more will eventually find their way up there. As for Chanel, going forward, I think I'm going to buy a lot less from them and focus more of my energy on Hermes because knowing how crazy the price increases have been, a lot of Chanel customers would be going towards Hermes. Even though it's already pretty hard to get a Birkin or a Kelly, I think as time goes by, it will only get harder and harder. So the sooner I can get my quota bags, the better. This year, I really want to get a Kelly as you know and also hopefully a constance so my essay said it should be soon so i've got my fingers crossed i hope it's a wishlist color yeah 
<laughs> my essay basically said be ready because it's coming <laughs> i'm super grateful he is looking out for me and he actually did offer mom a birkin 30 it was just not in a combination that she liked and also i think the size 30 she thinks will be a little bit too heavy both of us do prefer birkin 25 so <laughs> Yeah, fingers crossed for mum as well. Birkin 25, that is, I think, the hardest bag to get. Same with a Kelly 25. And I also need to film my handbag collection. I haven't forgotten about that. Oh, and for my Bali trip, I'll try to do some vlogging. We'll see how we go. There'll be lots of photos on Instagram. So make sure you are following me over there, which is at Queen of Diamonds 3. I'll see you guys very soon after my holiday. Bye.